So, as you may know, this time around, the rumours seem credible. Liverpool, led by Michael Edwards, have made a £10 million play for Norwich City Jamal Lewis. But what you might not know is that it was met with an instant rejection. Norwich City's director of football, Stuart Webber, believes that he's closer to £20 million. But hold on, before you think you've read the script of this story and you've seen it before, there's actually some good news. Norwich are super interested in one of Liverpool's academy products. But before you get too excited, sources close to Jamal Lewis are saying something rather interesting. It's big transfer news. Liverpool have had their £10 million bid for Jamal Lewis knocked back. With Norwich City apparently saying, go back and double that and come back with £20 million. Now, there's an option for Liverpool to push ahead because Norwich City are interested in Liverpool product, Yaza Larucci. Now, this option might actually be a perfect fit for all parties involved, with Yaza Larucci actually wanting more first team football and Liverpool not wanting to offer him a new contract, given the changes to the loan laws by FIFA meaning that you can only loan out a total of eight players before we get into the interesting things said by Lewis family and actually Jamal Lewis himself, a video of him actually speaking about Liverpool players. It's important, first of all, answer the question, how good is Jamal Lewis? Despite most people thinking that he came through Norwich City's academy, he actually signed for Norwich City in 2016, where he arrived from Luton's academy. In the exact same deal, they also saw his best friend, Max Ahrens, join in the exact same summer. So, oh, what did the stats say and how does he compare to Andy Robertson? Lewis averaged 1.8 tackles per 90, which is pretty impressive. He also had a very respectable 0.9 interceptions per 90. Now, to put these two stats in context, elite level Andy Robertson had 1.5 tackles per 90, so 0.3 less than Jamal Lewis. And when it came to interceptions, Andy Robertson comes in at 1.1 interceptions per 90. So, only 0.2 more than Lewis's output. When it came to goals, there wasn't much in there. With Jamal Lewis scoring one and Robertson two. Now, they're both the same height, but this is what separates the elite from the up and comings. With Andy Robertson and Lewis both being 5 for 8. But this is what separates the elite defenders from the up and coming. The main weakness in Jamal Lewis's game is his aerial duels. Lewis winning only 0.3 per 90. Ah, when you compare that to Robertson, who won 0.9 duels per 90, you begin to see that there's certainly room for improvement. So when you compare the assists, Jamal Lewis gave no assists whatsoever, which you would expect to improve when he plays with better players. Interesting story coming close to the Lewis camp is the fact that his agent apparently might have a preference for him to go somewhere where he can play first team football. Having said that, this was all prior to interest from Liverpool. Even though last summer we saw Liverpool actually be unlucky with Lloyd Kelly actually moving to Bournemouth as opposed to moving over to Liverpool because of competition for first team places. To summarise, Lewis seems like a pretty exciting young talent. He certainly seems to have all the raw tools to make it to the top. Considered a career as a sprinter at youth level before making it bigger football. So certainly quite athletic. All the deficiencies in his game seem to be the sort that will come with time and actually playing alongside better players. And if Liverpool were actually going to make this deal happen using LaRucci, it would actually be a deal which certainly seems to have all the hallmarks of an excellent Edwards capture. That's it, but before I go, I'll let Jamal Lewis have the final word. Consider subscribing if you liked. Do like, share and subscribe. And as always, until next time. Thanks, who is it? Honestly, I've got to say Salah. Salah. But Salah, what's we'll he? How quick is he? I'll say he's not, he's not, he's sharp. That's the, the yeah. right word to describe him. He's not maybe like Mane quick or mm. Van Dyke quick, but. Van Dyke quick? Van Dyke's quick, you know. He, he don't look it, he's just mm. kind of them long strides, but yeah. Also um, helps when you're quick up there as well. He yeah, seems yeah, like yeah, he's yeah. a step Ooh, ahead there. That's as what well. it is as well in the Prem. All these guys are just so sharp mentally. Is that what you've noticed, yeah? Yeah, 100%. They're all athletes and they're just all sharp mentally. Like with Salah, I think he kind of, when I was playing against him, he gauged that I was quite athletic. So he just started playing at one touch running. So in the championship, you wouldn't do that. They just try to do what they know. So it's, it's good to kind of get exposed to that kind of quality.